Morning, this is Rob Little, Little Enterprises. Happy 2024. This is New Year's Day, about 8.30 in the morning. We are waiting for our new Shop Saver ISM 4x8 CNC router to arrive. I'm, I'm standing right where it's gonna go in the shop. Um, we've got our, our, Be our Becker vacuum pump arrived here about a week or so ago. Uh, all the wiring has been done. We've got air, we've got our dust collection system ready. So, uh, so we're poised and ready for this, this new machine to come. Uh, it'll be pretty interesting. Uh, when we unloaded the big five axis Haas, we actually backed the 18 wheeler into the bay and then unloaded the machine with the forklift and pulled the 18 wheeler out and set it down. And so I think we're gonna do the same thing with uh, the shop saver, but uh, what a cool way to kick off 2024. Brand new machine, brand new opportunities for the shop, big parts. And uh, we're gonna bring you guys along for the installation and the setup and the, and the first cuts and all that kind of good stuff. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and we'll see you on the next one. The shop saber is now in the shop and we have set it down in its approximate location on the floor. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is use uh, the tractor with the forks to pull the control cabinet off of, of the top of the machine. What I've already done is uh, this is the frame that they had. I've taken all the screws out separating this frame from that frame. I should be able to just forklift this off and put it on the floor and then uh, take the frame off and uh, start doing the wiring and the pneumatics and all that kind of good stuff and uh, turn that thing on for the first time. So uh, let's get that thing down. Pretty. Nice. I like it. Heavy duty. Big welded steel enclosure. Interesting. All right. Our new shop saver has now been placed in its final resting spot. As we get ready to uh, do the first power on, I'm going to uh, do an unboxing with everyone to show you all the different cool things that we bought along with the machine and uh, what you might be getting with yours too. So, uh, so let's dive into a couple of these boxes. It really is like Christmas, you know, you start uh, opening up cool things even though you kind of like bought it for yourself, but that's kind of like what we all do. You got PVC, uh, of course we're going to use all this uh, PVC for um, putting together the, uh, the Becker vacuum pump, um, so that'll, that'll come later as uh, we start unboxing that. But look how everything's nicely numbered, and, uh, so a whole bunch of PVC, what a great, great setup they have going on here. Of course, in the box, we have a, uh, a cool work order. Looks like they went through the packing list and checked everything off. That's great to see. Nice to know. And it was signed off by someone too. That's, that's great accountability. Great, good job. All right, so I think that's all the PVC pipes and pieces. Uh, let's see here. First one is a CNC zero setter. Oh yeah, so that's gonna lock in there and uh, you plug it in and you set your uh, your tools with that one. That's cool. So we'll be setting that up a little bit later, but that's nice to see in there. There's your uh, your tool setting block. We'll take this and mount that on one of the workbenches for uh, for loading your tools and tightening everything up. That's a nice uh, nice looking addition there. Grease and a grease gun. Lots of lots of grease in here. All right, cool for the, the bearings and the ways. All right. 
clamp down kit. Um, when we order the machine, of course, it's got a vacuum top, but it also has the T slots. Um, we will be doing both. We will be clamping the vacuum and uh, with uh, T slots. We'll be, we do a lot of, uh, of our own fixtures, of course. So um, the fixtures will reference off of um, location ports on the, on the table. And then, of course, we'll clamp it, clamp it all down. But having the T slots will make it so we can um, clamp down our own tooling on top of that. So but, um, lots and lots and lots of clamps. This is a pretty big, uh, big machine, four by eight. All right, looks like we have a, uh, a pack of uh, backups. Um, got a couple collets in here. Obviously, that is some backup software. A spare um, fork for the tool changer. That's good to see. So uh, uh, there's a tap tap collet. I know we ordered uh, one of the, the tap collets because we are going to be tapping on the machine. So uh, that's great. Whole set of collets for that. All right. Nice. So this is going to be one of the options that we uh, we called up. This was their mist coolant system. Um, so uh, as you can see on the back of the machine here, you have to follow me along. Uh, Mr. Little right up here is uh, is the mist coolant system. Um, so that's an option we put on there because we we're doing a lot of aluminum. And uh, of course, it might be actually good for some of the plastics too. Um, so obviously, this is the manual and uh, some of the lubricant that goes in there. And the rest of the pieces and parts in here looks like a little tool kit. Uh, nice that they give us tools. That's, that's convenient. And I think this is uh, cutters, a whole bunch of router bits that, uh, that come with it too. Um, I think we specified mostly for plastic. Uh, we have a, a great relationship with um, OSC, uh, tools and uh, I've already contacted them and we've got some feeds and speeds and a whole bunch of tools coming and we're going to be testing all of those tools out because of course the router has got a uh, super high RPM, um, low torque, high RPM versus, you know, like the Haas, which has got lots of torque and 12,000 RPM. So you can, you know, on the Haas, you can turn it down to three or 4,000 RPM, but you don't really want to do that with your router. You want to run it at 24,000 RPM or so. So um, anyways, long story short, we're going to be running some, uh, some new tools in there. So these are a whole bunch of tool holders. Nice, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful one piece tool holders and of course these things are rated for that 24,000 RPM spindle um, so uh, they're not just your average off-the-shelf tool holders so I think that's everything in this box so you can see all the tool holders down here and I bet you this is a uh, let's see what is this this is a test report on the spindle um, that's cool I'm glad you provided that too so that's that is great it shows the tolerance tested so uh, cool all right well that's the unboxing of this one and uh let me clear this off the table and we'll hit the other boxes all right diving into the next box unpacking what do we got here oh there we go all right so this is um for the pneumatic system. This is the uh, airline filters and airline dryers. This was an option um, that we chose. Um, so that's a great, this is a, a really high quality um, air filtration, air drying system to mount on here. Now granted, we already have uh, a lot for the whole shop, um, but each machine that we have has its own filter and has its own dryer. So we wanted the same thing on this machine too. You do not want any moisture getting into uh, the pneumatics of these systems. So uh, that is pretty daggone sexy right there. That's great. <laughs> kind of a big box for such a little thing, but uh, that's cool. Good packaging. Good packaging. I like it. I like it. So what we got here, ooh, it's our dust boot. So uh, this, will, this will get mounted uh, up underneath here and uh, cool when it changes. Here, let's just, let's, let's mock it up. Check this out. So when it does a tool change, it comes and parks it right there. These little actuators, psh, and it pulls out, changes the tools, comes back down, picks it back up again, and goes back at it. So uh, that's sweet. That's cool. 
I like it. So I could probably guess what this is. I think this is the Shop Saver CNC vacuum clamping kit. I'm pretty smart like that. But we'll definitely look into it. Um, I believe this has got cool things in here like um, seals for on the table. Um, which is great because that's exactly what, oh man, look at that, look at that big fat O-rings, right? That's awesome. And because uh, I do, uh, I do a lot of vacuum fixtures and the big CNC's and of course um, we have O-rings, O-ring grooves and O-rings and everything sucks down the parts, sucked down onto those. So I'm very familiar um, with the process and uh, this makes a lot of sense for um, when we put picture in on this thing too, to have the same process. So this will work out great. Look at that, cool. Let's pull it out, let's look at it. Nice, that's neat. This is the rubber mat, so uh, we will be doing a separate video on this. We will test it without it and with it and uh, see which one works best. So uh, sweet, this is uh, gonna be nice, awesome. All right, the final unboxing is our inverter, which is uh, one of the things we have got to install. So we purchased uh, the optional inverter for uh, the vacuum um, for a couple different reasons. Uh, it takes a little bit of the load uh, off of our electronic system here. Um, I am gonna be running this off of a phase converter in our shop because we don't have three phase power coming in off the grid. Um, and we have a, a 70 horsepower uh, phase converter and uh, I didn't want to buy another new phase converter. So there is actually a cost savings to buy a, um, a uh, inverter um, from Mitsubishi through Shop Saber um, versus in putting in a whole new uh, phase converter for, uh, for just this machine. So uh, anyways, let's take a look. Nice. Look at this big, beautiful unit. Nice, like it. If I can get it out of the box. I think there's handles on each side that you can pick up at. I bet there are. Mm -hmm. Look at that. College educated young man. Cool. So this is the next thing that we're going to be installing is the inverter. So uh, that's a nice inverter. Neat. All right. Well, we will go through um, the installation of this also. So uh, that's all the unboxing and unpackaging. So let's do the, uh, the rest of the wiring hookups. All right, let's bust into our uh, Becker vacuum pump here. Should have warned the cameraman about the, uh, the flying straps. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it'll come loose. No. Wow, heck, it's really nice. Nice and tight. Of course, this was drop shipped separate from the CNC. It came, uh, came from Becker directly. Uh, two part foam packaging. Awesome. This is good for, uh, for beating up cameramen. It almost looks like a sweet V8 engine in a crate, but, but it's not. Close. It, it, it kind of sucks. It sucks a lot. All right. <laughs> you know I had to say that at least once. <laughs> I'm going to say it a couple more times, you know, <laughs> on how much this sucks. <laughs> All right. Cool. Definitely packaged very, very nicely. I'll just pick that up, right? Yeah, no worries. I think there's a reason why they have uh, a lifting hook, so right here and right here. That's, uh, 
that's pretty impressive. So as I reach in here and I just grab this and I pick it out of the box, you just hang, hang tight there. And uh, I just don't want you to see me turn that red as I pick this thing up. <laughs> So uh, the vacuum pump is made by uh, the Becker Corporation, which is, is German. Um, I got to spend a semester in Germany getting my engineering degree. So I know a little bit of German. And uh, I know that this says, uh, um, do not top load. So uh, it's just good to know this type of information, you know. Morning, today's the day to get the shop saber turned on for the first time. On the list of things to complete, Got to install the air filtration system. Of course, we run the airlines. Going to put in a, a blow off gun to blow off the table. Got to remove all the shipping bolts and um, finish plumbing the vacuum pump uh, to the table over there. And uh, once we turn it on, we'll trim the dust collection hose to the proper length. And then it'll be ready for the very first program and the very first parts. And then, of course, you have to. Uh, take all the tools and load them all up and touch them all off and get them in the changer over there too. So uh, let's get busy. I'm going to take the air filters and mount it right here on the pole, right near the, the outlet. So I've got a piece of drop piece of uh, plastic. I think this is um, plexiglass um, and it's just going to be a backer plate and uh, I think I'm going to mount it about right there. The plug's going to be poking out here so I wanted to uh, protect the plug maybe you know a little bit. No one wants to hit it and unplug the machine so um, that's my game plan is to, uh, to mount this puppy right here. Okay, that, that should do good. So, uh, <sighs> definitely coming in and going out that direction uh, to the machine. Hey, so let's turn on the vacuum pump. You guys can uh, hear this thing run. It's actually not too bad. Really looking forward to cutting some parts on this here in the next couple weeks. So uh, Jerry and I got to get busy and come up with some new products for the Shop Saber in addition to the customer's product line. So uh, I hope everyone is enjoying our video series on the Shop Saber ISM. We should be releasing a new video every couple weeks. So uh, stay tuned. God bless. We'll see you on the next one.